Setting the float height on your Walbro PZ carburetor. A similar approach is used on all of our racing engines utilizing the Walbro PZ carburetor. Float height is critical in proper fuel metering. This video will help you set initial height from which to fine tune to the type of track or racing you do. A track with a long straightaway might require lowering the float height as your engine will be at maximum RPM for longer periods of time requiring more fuel. A short tight track could require the float to be raised, lowering the fuel supply to match the reduced fuel needs of the engine at sustained lower RPM. For the most part, setting your float as recommended in this video will cover most of your racing needs. First, ensure that all fuel has been thoroughly drained from the float bowl and main body using the lower drain plug shown here. Care must be taken when removing your inlet fuel line as fuel will likely be present. Always use an approved fuel can to store any drained or removed fuel. With the carburetor inverted, start by removing the carburetor bowl screws using either a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. Take special care when removing the float bowl as the rubber o-ring seal held in place by the pressure between the bowl and carburetor body will be loose. We recommend having an extra o-ring as methanol exposure over time can damage the seal and even with the best care it can be damaged when reassembling. There are three basic approaches to setting float height. The first method is using a dial caliber. Setting the caliber to 860 as an initial reference point, place the caliber on the carburetor body gasket surface. Adjust the center tab of the float assembly until the top edge of the float meets 860 on the caliber. We recommend checking both floats as a twisted or bent float will affect your carburetor's performance. The second method is using an aftermarket tool such as this one from FasterMotors.net. With this tool, float height can be measured, adjusted, and locked in place for a quick reference. Again, starting with this tool set at 860, check both float heights and adjust. As a last resort, if you do not have a float gauge tool or caliber available, you can set the float height by identifying the parting line or seam of the float located across the center of each float. With the parting line identified, set the float height so that the parting line of the float is at a 5 degree up angle to the carburetor bowl gasket surface away from the needle. Finally, to adjust your float height, take a screwdriver and only bend the center tab of the float to raise and lower the float height. Never adjust height by bending the arm to each float or the float itself. This could lead to inaccurate fuel level settings and or cause damage to the float itself.